Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on Forza Motorsport on PC. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we're going to go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized so it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering so i really recommend to use that one last thing is um i have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking cpu overclocking gpu depending on your brand and stuff and it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide i don't touch voltage so it's pretty safe you can expect sometimes two percent ten percent boost in your fps depending on your thermal depending on your component but it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your pc um, for the best performance so now let's go inside of the game so now inside of the game we're going to start by basic video so first of all make sure that your dynamic render quality start at medium and make sure that your dynamic optimization is at custom the first thing that you want to make sure that you're using is your full screen super important go full screen in this game i was getting some random stuttering when i was not playing full screen so go with that resolution make sure that you're playing native depending on your monitor if you have a 1080p monitor 4k monitor Make sure that you're a native. I like to see my frame rate, so I just put it at on. Normally, you will see it like a center top of your monitor. And the last one, if you have an RTX card, I really recommend to use the quality feature of a DLSS in this game. You can get a nice 15% boost in your FPS. And honestly, the image quality is really good. When you use balance and performance, I was not too impressed. Uh, the game looks a little bit blurry. Uh, so that's why I recommend to go with quality. After that, in advanced video, make sure that uh, your performance target uh, depend on what you want to do. For me, I just unlocked it. I want the less input lag. But for sure, if you have issue with your thermal, you're playing on a laptop with a 60 Hz monitor. Sometimes it's just good to lock it at 60 FPS and uh, it, your game will be a lot more stable. Resolution scale, I just go with 100%. I don't upscale. I don't downscale. And it's tropic filtering. I'm using the maximum one. Honestly, just look at your VRAM usage. Always make sure to have 10% empty. You don't want to fill uh, the old bar over there. So uh, when you're changing your parameter, always make sure that you have 10% empty. For rate tracing quality, this one I recommend to just deactivate it. It tanks your performance. It's like 20% uh, when you activate it at maximum like this. So I recommend to just deactivate it. Uh, ambient occlusion, rate trace quality, I recommend to go with low. Another nice 8% boost over there. Shadow quality also is pretty huge. If you compare ultra to low, you can expect 15% boost in your FPS. But the game looks very flat at low, so I recommend to go with medium. And for the reflection quality Q map, you can definitely run medium. Not a huge impact between low and medium. I saw 1% difference. So that's why I recommend to go with medium. For car detail, I recommend to go with medium for model quality and livery quality. Again, not a huge impact if I compare medium to low. So you prefer a better visual for that one. But when you go to high, you start to losing 3% for each bracket. Wind windshield reflection quality, I recommend to go with low, also with mirror quality. Those ones are tanking my performance on my uh, laptop. I was uh, testing the game on the 1060 uh, mobile and honestly the mirror quality is pretty crazy and i was dropping like crazy so i recommend to go with low with both and you can expect a lot more fps and a stable stabilize also your fps texture quality you can maximum and max it if you want it really depends just on your vram so you don't really care so if you have 10 percent empty just go at high Particle effect quality, this one I recommend to go with low, uh, uh, crazy drop again, when you see a lot of particle at ultra, uh, it's pretty crazy, you're just dropping like 30%, uh, 30 uh, FPS one shot, so 
definitely I recommend to go with low. And for the post-processing, I'm not a huge fan of post-processing in any game. I just remove the motion blur quality and the lens flare. I know some people in racing game like the motion blur. Uh, me, I just like remove it. I don't like the blurriness when you're moving uh, left to right. So that's why I'm removing it. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Forza Motorsport guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.